Hi everyone, so we're on maths now. Um, we're moving on from time this week and we're going to be looking at place value. Um, we're starting off today with comparing numbers within 50. Um, so let's just have a quick recap. So here I've got a grid of numbers 1 to 50. Obviously the top ones we've got 1 to 10. Then we've got the teen numbers. If your number has a two in the tens column, it's going to be 20, a three in the tens column, 30, a four, 40. And then obviously to finish it off, you've got 50, um, which is equivalent to five tens. So we're looking today at comparing numbers um, within 50 using the crocodile signs that we've used in class. So let me explain these to you. Your crocodile always wants to eat the biggest number, the greedy. Um, we know that crocodiles like to eat a lot, they eat anything. So it wants to eat the most, the biggest number, the greatest number. So your crocodile's mouth is always going to be open towards the greatest amount or number. So I've copied you an example here. We've got the number 15 and we've got the number 12. The crocodile's mouth is open towards the 15 because we know that 15 is bigger, is greater than 12. However, if you have a less than number, the number will need to be smaller there. So it'll need to be smaller to the point, not at the, the position where the crocodile's mouth is open. If we look up here, we've got the equal sign, um, which we're quite familiar with in class. If you are putting an equal sign, it means that both amounts are the same. So they are equal to each other. Right, let's go through some examples together. So I've already done these um, just to show you and give you an idea. We have done them in class before, so they're not completely new to you. So we've got 32 and 25. The crocodile mouth is positioned open at the 32 because that is the greater amount. Obviously 25 is smaller than 32, so that's why it's on the less than side. We've got 11 and 30. We know that 30 is the greater number, the bigger number, which is why your crocodile's mouth is open. And then finally, I've done an example of equal to, uh, we've got 15 add one and 16. We know that 15 add one is 16 because one more than 15 is 16, they are equal. Therefore, you're gonna to need to put the equal sign in the middle. Okay, doc. Right, let's go through some examples together. We've got 40 and 22. So have a think at home. You can do your crocodile mouth if you want, like we do in class. Um, which way does that crocodile's mouth need to go? Which is a greater number? Okay, so 40, well done if you said that, is the greater number, therefore your crocodile mouth needs to be open to the number 40. Then we've got, these are in word form, which it can sometimes be, we've got 16 and 18. So which is a greater number out of those, 16 or 18? If you said 18, you are correct, therefore your crocodile mouth needs to be open towards the 18. Then we've got 45 and we've got an addition here. 46 add one. We know that 46 add one is 47 because 47 is one more than 46. And we know we've got 45. So let's have a think. 46 add one is 47. 47 is greater than 45. So your crocodile mouth needs to be positioned that way. Then we've got five and we've got 11 add two. So 11 add two locking 11 in your head and counting up two more. So 11, 12, 13. So obviously 13 is a much greater number than five. So again, your crocodile mouth needs to be open that way. And then we have got 34 and 40. Again, 40 is greater than 34. Because if you look at your tens, 40 has got four tens and 34 has only got three. Oh, Kelly Dark. Just wanted to quickly um, explain one of the questions um, on your working from home sheet today. So it's a bit of problem solving. Teddy is comparing two numbers. My number is larger than 19, but not one more than 19. So obviously you've got the number 23 here. 
So your number still needs to be less than 23. You're not going to be able to go in higher than that. Otherwise, the crocodile mouth will need to be the other way. What could Teddy's number be? What can't it be? So we know that the number cannot be greater than 23 because our crocodile is eating that number. It's the biggest number. So we know that it's not one more than 19. So you can cross 20 off because Teddy is saying it's not that number. So have a think. I'm going to stop it there because otherwise I'll be telling you the answers. What is that number or what could that number be? And then to finish off, let me just double check. Yep, finishing off today, just wanted to do some base 10 representations. Um, just, to quick, just to keep it fresh in your mind, really. So we've got two numbers here, two representations of different numbers. The first one has two tens and eight ones. So it's going to be 28. Then we have got three tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in fact, I'm gonna leave that with you. And I would like you to do that maybe as an extra challenge. Let me know which way that crocodile mouth needs to be opened. Okay, as always, any problems, let me know. Try your best. Thank you, everybody.